The United States just tested its ground-based interceptor, launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. The test was a success. The target missile was launched from the Kwajalein Atoll in the Pacific Ocean, over 4,000 miles away. So far, the system has succeeded in destroying ballistic missiles on 10 out of 18 attempts, making it successful about 56% of the time. While the test was successful, the U.S. has a long way to go before the system proves to be able to reliably defend against intercontinental ballistic missile attacks. While tests like these are scheduled years in advance, it comes at a tense time in U.S.-North Korean relations, especially while the North continues to develop and test newer and longer-range ballistic missiles. The ground-based interceptor is designed to shoot down enemy incoming long-range ballistic missiles. It uses hit-to-kill technology, meaning that it does not rely on an exploding warhead to try to destroy the threat, but to destroy it by simply running directly into it. This method is extremely difficult to do, and has been described as hitting a bullet fired from a gun with another bullet, except much, much faster. Most surface-to-air missile systems have a warhead which detonate in proximity to the target. While this method is much easier technologically, it cannot guarantee destruction of the threat. It may possibly only slightly damage the target or simply knock it off course. The ground-based interceptor has a range of over 2,500 miles and is designed to destroy hostile missiles in space hundreds of miles above the Earth while they are in what is called the mid-course phase. This stage comes after its boost phase and as it is coasting towards its target before re-entering the atmosphere. The U.S. currently has 36 of these interceptors operational with plans for a dozen more. The missiles are located in Alaska and California, putting them in an ideal location to defend against possible future North Korean attack. While there are many systems that can shoot down shorter range ballistic missiles, the GBI, or ground based interceptor, and the Israeli Arrow 3 are the only two weapons and systems in the world currently operational that can destroy intercontinental ballistic missiles. The Russian A-135 can technically intercept ICBMs, but it relies on detonating a nuclear warhead over its own territory in an attempt to destroy the threat. This is obviously not an ideal way to defend against such attacks. Several other nations like China, India, and Russia are currently working to develop their own interceptors to defend against intercontinental ballistic missile attacks.